Hey, tonight, the state and defense attorneys are at odds over several issues in the Michael Slager case. He's the former police officer from North Charleston who shot and killed Walter Scott. Today in court, both sides battled over potential court dates and the possibility that evidence was destroyed. News 2's Rebecca Klett live downtown where she was hearing to explain the big concern evidence. She joins us now live in the studio. Rebecca. Brendan, good evening. One key concern is over the taser. The defense says testing could have destroyed trace fibers and the potential to fingerprint the taser. So why does that matter? Well, the defense says the taser could have traced evidence of Slager's uniform, proving it's Walter Scott who shocked the cop. The defense team also laid out concerns over the fingerprinting, which can't be done now that the taser was tested for DNA. That's another issue. Both sides admit SLED swiped the whole taser with only two swabs. Both Mr. Savage and uh, I were concerned that there were two swabs used to swab the entire taser. Uh, I have never said that DNA is not important. I think the value of DNA has been affected by the way the taser was processed and by the way the taser was handled by Mr. Slaver. Um, after the killing. Attorneys battled over a trial date as well. The state says they won't be ready until November. That's after the roof case, but today the defense filed a motion for a speedy trial wanting to start in March or April. What does that mean for a new bond hearing? Well, I'm working on that portion coming up later. I'll have that for you at 6. Rebecca Collette, News 2. Okay, Rebecca, thank you.